Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how to use Google Maps along with the floating display of the speedometer on top of the Google Maps. Now we all know that uh, we can use a previous version or an older version of the Google Maps in our digipad and it actually works really well uh, because of the only the app version is old but the map database which the app uses is of the latest maps and that is the 2020 maps. So the latest version of the maps are available the map, map database and the road database is available in the app but the app itself is only of the older version and it's a previous version of the google maps so we won't get to use some of the finest features which are available in the newly updated maps other than that the database which the app uses of the roads of the highways of the tall boats is all is extremely updated and is up to the mark of 2020 standards and how do i know that well because the map actually displays the map, map database which is being used and as you can see here right now it is written 2020 google so the map database is updated to the latest and you might find all the changes current changes which are happening across the roadways across the highways finally updated within the apps within the google map app which you are using on your digipad now the thing which i wanted to show you in this video is the floating speedometer app on top of the google maps now it is a small trick which you can do in your digipad also wherein you can use a floating speedometer on top of the google maps and make the google maps look more and intuitive more enhanced and more information providing sort of a thing and this is not available in any car of course they can only have android auto or they can only use google maps but using a speedometer on top of the google maps along with showing the current temperature also is one of the finest features and you are going to find this only in the digipad and the feature which i am talking about is let me just show you that and this is there you go the google maps navigation is working right now and as you can see on the left side of the screen it is showing my current speed as 45 and on the right side it is showing the current temperature ambient temperature and there is a one small ball also it's right here it's written pro version only so that is because the app which does this needs to be purchased and the pro version needs to be brought about so that you get a one more additional feature but in case you are happy and satisfied with using this feature you do not need to buy the app you can just use this for include for including or for using the speedometer display and the temperature display on top of the google maps now the google maps navigation is working really well as you can see right now it's basically it's the same way as you can use android auto or the latest google maps if they had if they were present in the digipad nevertheless even this older version of the google maps navigation works really well and just uh, you need to provide a proper internet connection to the google maps via wi-fi uh, using your phone hotspot while traveling and if you have connected the digipad to your wi-fi phone hotspot the google maps navigation works really well and it works to the same standards of using the google maps in your smartphone but this video is not about google maps it about it's about using the google maps along with this speedometer and it looks really good of course and uh, it gives a very enhanced feeling it gives a more information while driving so that you get to know which road you're traveling which which highway you're traveling and of course it gives you the current speed of the car and also the temperature of the environment outside so you can do this also in your car you can use google maps you can use the google maps navigation and on top of it you can use the speedometer display on top of the google maps which is going to make the google maps look extremely more good and more intuitive now how to do this i'm just going to show you how exactly to do that and how you can use this feature in your car in your digipad and that's about coming up right now so in order to make this trick happen in your digipad you need to install two basic apps in your digipad which are the ulysses speedometer and the google maps of course it should be installed in the digipad now i'm going to show you how to sideload them on your digipad using this pen drive in this video in this case i'm using a sony 32 gb pen drive so using this pen drive you can install the both speedometer and the google maps app on your digipad so once you install both of them then i'm going to show you how you can actually make that trick happen so first and foremost get yourself a pen drive or you can also use the sd card 
micro sd card and of course in case you don't have an access to a laptop or a personal computer you can use your own smartphone as that and use the google chrome browser in your smartphone in order to follow this method so right now i'm going to plug in my pen drive into the laptop so once i plug in inside i have to just open up the google chrome browser so right now in this case i have already opened up the google chrome browser so after this you need to type in the address to url addresses uh, which are useful for you in order to download both the apps and you can make download them pretty easily and pretty fast using this method so the url address which you need to type is bit.ly slash t r a v e l t e c h that is travel tech followed by u s p e e d o this stands for ulysses speedometer so the url address is bit.ly slash travel tech u speed so once you have typed in this address just press on the enter button so that the google drive page loads up so as you can see the page has loaded up and there is a download button right here so just go ahead and click on the download button now it is going to download the app on your laptop or your pc now it is going to ask the file storage area now i have selected the desktop button and i'll just click on the save button so as you can see here the file downloaded has begun and it's already downloaded and saved there so the next app which you need to download is the google maps app and for that also you need to type in the url address that is bit.ly slash t r a v e l t e c h g m a p s so this is the url address that is bit.ly travel tech g maps so once you type in this address just press on the enter button so that it takes you to the google drive page or the apk mirror page of the google drive google maps sorry so once you have downloaded this you can go ahead and do this trick on your digipad so before that let's just download this just click on this download apk button on your laptop now it is going to open up a page where you can click on the orange color button here that is called as here so just click on that button now it is going to ask where to save the app just select the desktop and click on the save button and it will be saved there so once you have saved both of them on your uh, desktop so here you go as you can see there is a google maps app right here and i have the u speedo app also right here on the desktop now i am going to copy them both onto the pen drive which i have already inserted in the laptop right here so once you go that just uh, click on the right click on the app and click on the send to button and go ahead and copy it to your pen drive now i just copied the speedometer app now as you can see it is getting copied onto the pen drive it is about 5.3 mb in size so the once the uss speedometer gets copied just go ahead and copy the google maps app also onto your pen drive so once both the apps get copied onto your pen drive just go ahead and remove the pen drive safely using the method right here where where you can remove eject the storage media and you can eject it slowly so that your files don't get corrupted and while removing the application stays intact so once that's done just remove the pen drive from your laptop and now let's just go ahead and install both these apps in the digipad and make that magic trick happen so as you just saw i just downloaded and transferred both the apps the ulysses speedometer and the google maps app onto the pen drive now i'm going to insert this pen drive into the usb socket of the digipad and in this case in my honda wrv it's right below my armrest so i'm just going to insert it into the usb drive right here as uh, you can see on the screen i have inserted the pen drive and once the pen drive gets inserted the digipad is going to detect it and the music player is going to start up automatically so let's just start let's just wait for it to happen and as soon as it does we can go ahead so there you go the music player has started by itself so that it has detected the pen drive successfully so once i do that so just press on the home button and uh, the next thing which you need to do in order to make this happen is install both the apps that is the google maps app and the ulysses speedometer app now to install them you need to make sure you have the es file explorer installed in the digipad now i have made a detailed video regarding how to install es file manager in case you haven't seen that yet just head back to my channel and you can find the es file manager video so that you can easily install the es file manager in your car so once your es file manager has been installed just click on the es file manager and let's just wait for it to open up so the es file manager has opened up just click on the left top corner of the three dotted buttons right there and click on the home page button so once the home page opens up you can access your pen drive uh, right here and it is written as u disk 2 so just click on this u disk 2 that is the pen drive which you just inserted into the digipad so once you have inserted that 
you can actually install both the apps so right here is the google maps app so i'm just go gonna go ahead and click on the google maps button so it is going to give a prompt to install the application i'll just go ahead and install it so since i have already installed it previously in my digipad it is asking to replace the application so in order to show you guys how it actually done i'll going to i'm going to install it again back so i'll just click on the ok button and here is the installation window so just click on the install button and wait for the google maps to get installed on the digipad so the app has done uh, installing so just don't click on the open button yet just click on the done button and it's going to head you take you back into the uh, es file manager page so once the google maps is installed as you can see there is a use speedo button right here so just click on this use speedo app this is the app basically which you just downloaded from the laptop and it is showing up on the pen drive so once you click on this use speedo just click on the install button and since again i have already installed it in my digipad the replace application prompt comes up so i'm just going to install it and show you guys that the installation does complete properly and there is no parsing error or there is no installation error are while done from the laptop method or you're using a personal computer method so right now the ulysses speedometer is being installed on the digipad and once this gets installed as you just saw it has been installed just click on the done button and just go to the home screen so right now the both the apps the ulysses speedometer and the google maps app both have been installed successfully in the digipad so just to confirm that they are installed and working properly just get go to the app section in your digipad and click on the google maps button so that it loads up and there is no error and uh, make sure that the internet connection is up and proper in your digipad so that it helps in loading the apps of the uh, google maps so right now it is showing my location that also shows that the gps is working properly in my car so that make sure you can so that that makes sure that google maps is up and running and working well in your digipad so once you make sure that google maps is running we just have to scroll down and see if the ulysses speedometer is working or not so just click on the ulysses speedometer and let's wait and see so the ulysses speedometer also has opened up in the digipad and the speed is showing as zero that is actually proper because if there is no gps signal there will be two dashes here that will indicate that the gps has not picked up yet and if it's showing the speed as zero it means that the gps has picked up properly so now once both the apps have been installed in the digipad the ulysses speedometer and the digipad app the next thing which you need to do to make that trick happen to make the floating speedometer appear on the google maps is that you need to click on this zero button right here or if you are driving the speed will be varying but nevertheless in any case you have to click on this speedometer dial just click on the center of it and it is going to open up a settings section of the ulysses speedometer so once the settings section open up there is a green colored button called as navi written right here so just click on this navi button and wait for it to open up and detect the google maps since you have already installed google maps in your digipad it is going to uh, locate that maps app and it is going to show up as the navigation app now right now there are two options written here that is maps and navigation so in case you click on the maps button it is going to open up the proper google maps and it is going to show your location and as you can see the floating speedometer has appeared on top of the google maps now it is not responding to touch it is just a floating window and if you touch anything if you touch on top of it it is going to register the touch on the google maps and not on the speedometer itself so this is just a floating window it's not going to do anything while you touch it or you try to uh, minimize or maximize it. it is going to stay in that place and any touch you do will be registered by the google maps app and right now it is showing the location it is showing up on my map but in the previously in just the video which you saw i was driving and it was showing up on the navigation and the navigation app was showing up the road properly and the where my car was going in order to make that happen just press on the back button so it is head, it is going to head back into the ulysses speedometer button ulysses speedometer app so once that opens up just click again on the dial on the speedometer dial just click on it and go to the navi button that is a green color button and once you go there again you can see there is a navigation option written right next to the google maps app so this is the navigation app so just click on this navigation and it is going to take you to the navigation app of the google maps app because this is the older version the navigation and the maps are separated to are two separate apps and not combined like in our smartphones right now so it is going to open up in navigation dedicated app so once the navigation app opens up you can click on the destination whichever you want to go you can just have to type the destination and click on the go button in case uh, so right now i have just a pre-planned destination right here i'm going to click 
click on that and once you uh, click on that it is going to get the driving instructions from the internet and once the driving instructions are obtained it is going to open up in a navigation section and as you can see the floating windows has also appeared on top of the navigation it is showing the current speed and the current temperature outside so this is the trick guys this is a very small and very easy trick but of course it's a very useful and a very a uh, good looking trick which makes your car looks much more futuristic much more advanced and it is going to give a new way to look at the google maps in your digipad which are actually of very old version but no other google map has a floating window of a speed showing up on their car and this makes this google map particular google map much more futuristic than the one we are already having in our smartphones now this is the way guys this is how you need to follow the method in order to make the speedometer appear on the Uh, display of the Google Maps, and we can use this while using the regular maps also, and while using the navigation part of the Google Maps also. So this is the. So there you go, guys. I think you just saw how to download and install and use this floating window feature on top of the Google Maps, so that while you are driving the next time in your car, in your Honda WRV, City, Amaze, or Jazz, or whichever car you have your Digipad One in, you can use this feature and make the Digipad look much more cooler and much more informative than it already previously was. And of course, after this feature, nobody else and even Digipad Two owners on all other cars will also might feel jealous that they don't have this feature in their. Car. Car that having a floating speedometer on top of the Google Maps navigation. Now this is looking extremely nice, and I'm very happy about this that the Google Maps navigation works really well. It's almost as similar way like using in my smartphone. Now I don't have to use the smartphone independently. I can use the Google Maps in my digipad, and on top of it, I can see my current speed and of course the current temperature as well. So the basic thing which you need to do is you need to install these two apps. That is the Ulysses speedometer and the Google Maps app. Both have to be installed, and once you go in into the ulysses speedometer if you click on the speed dial you will get an option to click on the navigation and once you go to the navigation you can either open it in the map section or you can open it in the navigation part and once you start to navigate it is going to show up on the screen like this and especially if you're going on a long drive or on a long highway or you're going on a vacation this is going to turn out extremely helpful for you because you don't need to take out your phone every single time to in order to find out the road where you're going in in order to find out the turns which you need to take So this is Travel Tech guys this is one of the special feature brought out for you by Travel Tech so i hope you like this feature and if you recognize the effort which has gone behind in making this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video and as i have been seeing most of the people who are watching my videos have not subscribed to my channel yet i request you to subscribe to my channel because i'll be bringing out much more interesting content for our digipad and for our cars so make sure you go ahead click that red colored subscribe button and also like this video this is Travel Tech signing off and have a Really nice day.